We're a thousand miles from comfort. We have traveled land and sea. The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Olympiakos against Apoel. I'm Peter Drury, and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Beck. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. for a goal kick. <laughs> Looks like a good ball through. It's a promising ball. Grounded there with a shot! down the right, where could this lead? It's a long pass towards the front. Brown a day, he's leading the charge, but he's having to go it alone. Tries a through ball. Goes for goal! He can get that clear. Oh, he's really drilled it. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Brown it in. Danger averted for now. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. So what now? Brown it A. A chance! In with a header! Goal! Olympiakos! Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Olympiakos themselves into the lead. 
Oh, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. Have to stay focused. Olympiakos are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. So they've got the only goal to make it 1-0. Long and direct. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Floats one over. Done very well to intervene. If he's had a look, he's blown his whistle for half time. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Olympiakos leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Here we go again. 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Now the pass. They've managed to get it away. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Forward. And it's Masuaku. Olympiakos not lucky. They have escaped lightly. Olympiakos get dipped into their subs. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Shapes the shoot. Oh, what a hit! What a hit! Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. Two to the good. They have breathing space. Contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. Well, look as though they're about to make a change. Olympiakos take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. There are a few waiting for it. Omar Al Abdullawi pumps it into the area. Round a day. Olympiakos have time on their side now, as well as a two-goal lead. It is just about done. They are running riot! Surely now, beyond all doubt. That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. 
Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Olympiakos take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Looks to slip it through. And that's it. Olympiakos, comfortable winners. A virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game and goal scorers, but there's an art to good defence too, and their organisation and discipline has helped earn this win. It remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.